an angle in the coordinate plane, so that means an XY Cartesian graph, is in standard position when the vertex is at the origin, so that's at 0, 0. One of the rays of your angle is on the positive x-axis, always, always, always on the positive x-axis, and that's called the initial side of the angle. And then the other side of the angle, called the terminal side, just lands wherever you need to go in order to get the angle measurement you're trying to get. Okay? This is on page 387. Notice how the angle is measured out from the initial side to the terminal side by rotating which direction? What do we call that? Counterclockwise. Good. If we go clockwise instead, like this picture down here, what do you notice the picture saying about that angle? It's a negative angle. Um, how many degrees are in an entire circle if we were to go clear around from the initial side back to the initial side? 360 in the entire circle. So what if we only did half of the circle over to here? How far would that be? 180 degrees. Okay, good. What if we just went that far so that the terminal side was going straight up there? That would be 90 degrees. What if we went clear around so that the terminal side was pointing downward? Very good. And back here would be 360. Is it possible to have an angle that's bigger than 360? Yes. <laughs> Remember how we just talked about periodic functions, which is something repeating over and over, such as the Earth going around the sun? Yeah. It absolutely goes around the Earth more, around the sun more than once, because that's called a year, right? It keeps going. It's happened 40 times in my lifetime. <laughs> anyway, so yes, since angles, we're going to start talking about angles in the context of periodic functions, we can keep going forever. So, where would 390 degrees be located? Like there, right? How can you find more and more angles that are around for the, if you keep going around indefinitely, how can you get another angle at the same place as a previous one? Add 360, okay. Is it okay to have negative angles? Yeah, so you could also do what to get another angle? Subtract 360, right? So it just goes angles indefinitely forever and ever around and around and around. Okay, I have misplaced the papers that were sitting here earlier. Oh, I put them down here. Look at that okay. I forget what I'm doing sometimes. Okay. So let's just kind of review the important things that we just went over really fast. So this is called an angle in standard form, or in standard position, okay? So if you need to, think of it as a dance step in standard position, I don't know, whatever, okay? So an angle in standard position, the initial side is always on the positive x-axis. The terminal side is wherever that angle ends up, okay? The measurement between the initial side and the terminal side is that angle measurement. It can be anything from negative infinity to positive infinity, depending on how many times around you go and how far you go. If we go counterclockwise, we get positive angles. If we go clockwise, we get negative angles. Any questions on that? All right. Let's now talk about coterminal angles. I actually already sort of was talking about coterminal angles, just barely. So I'm not sure where this would correspond in your book. I know it's in there somewhere, but I'm throwing it in now. So if you want to find where it aligns in your book, or I guess I can look for it. Oh, look, I wrote the page right there. 
page 39, co-terminal angles. Co-terminal angles are two or more angles with the same terminal side. So that's where you go around the circle again and you end up back at the same, at, at the same angle as a, another angle that had a smaller number. Those are called co-terminal <laughs> angles. So those angles can be found by adding or subtracting values of 360 as many times as you want. Do you guys want to look at that for a minute or are you good before we go over some examples? We are going to be looking at examples on page 3D9, and we're also going to go back and look at some examples on the previous page, 3D8, I think, just drawing angles in standard position. So in this first part of 6.2, all you're doing is drawing angles in standard position and finding coterminal angles by adding and subtracting 360. So it's going to be super easy. Okay. All right, I'm going to page 388 in the workbook. So here we are. What is the measurement of the angle shown? Oh, we need to actually talk about special rectangles. This is more complicated than I thought. Okay, we're going to skip this group of problems, and I need to look at your homework and make sure that it's okay if we skip this for now. Because Okay, so we're skipping to problem two. Um, we need to draw a sketch of each of these angles in standard position. Do you want to try, or you want me to do them with you? Do you want to try them first? Okay, with you. So I'm going to start with my x, y axes. I'm going to put a dot at the origin, because that's where the vertex is. I'm going to draw the initial side directly to the right on the positive x-axis. And then I'm going to guess where 85 degrees is. So we talked earlier about the fact that the line going straight up is 90 degrees. So 85 degrees would be somewhere there. If you want to be accurate, feel free to use a protractor, but it is not required. Estimates are perfectly fine. Okay, B. Which one? Oh, page 388. So we do exactly the same thing every time when we start drawing these angles. We start with a dot at the 0, 0 vertex spot, and then we draw an arrow to the right on the positive x-axis. Then if it's positive, we go counterclockwise, negative, we go clockwise. So which direction is this one going to go? Clockwise. So count with me as we go around clockwise. How far is that so far? Negative 90. Negative 180, negative 270, and if I go all the way back around, it's at negative 360. So I think that means it's just going to be barely not quite half right there. By the way, if that is 320 degrees and this direction is 360 degrees, what would this angle in here be? You are correct, that angle is 40 degrees, and that's going to be really important when we start talking about reference angles, but don't worry about it today. All right, I think you guys can handle 180 on your own. Go. And then try problems three and four on the next page on your own. always start with the vertex at the origin, the initial side going to the positive right 
x-axis. Questions? 